Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen and today I am going to be showing you my physical TBR or in other words, all the books on my shelves that I own yet have not read yet. Um, so I'm just going to go, I think, row by row and show you guys what I have on my shelves that I haven't read that I hope to read eventually and we'll see how many it comes out to. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with this stack that came from the first shelf, two shelves. So on the, in this stack I have um, The Born Identity and Born Ultimatum. There is another Born one around here somewhere. These are actually my husband's, but um, I do think they'd be interesting reads. I have not watched the movies. Do not shoot me. I don't know what they're about exactly, but I have heard the books are good, so those are on my list. Then I have The Rule of Thought. This one seems like this is number two in the Mortality Doctrine series. So I don't know if he has number one or not. So you're going to find that a lot of these are my husband's, but I still want to read them because he has good taste. So I actually have no idea what this is about, but I would like to read it because I like the Maze Runner movie. Have not read the book. <laughs> All right, next we have The Serpent's Shadow from Rick Riordan and already said that I have plans this summer to go back and read um, all of the books from those two series that are in that world, um, that Percy Jackson world. So um, I know this one I think is in this is the second series and this is book three. Yeah, book three in that second series. So yes, I have already stated we'll be reading these. So um, I will be mentioning all the rest of the ones that I do have because they're on the shelf. But yeah. So the next one I have is The Martian, which I thought was an okay movie. Husband says the book is better, so which is normally the case. So I'm going to give it a shot. Wasn't super huge fan of The Martian movie. If I remember correctly, I did not like the way it ended. But I'm not very good at remembering things. Next I have Little House on the Prairie, and I know that I should have read this before. And I feel like maybe I did when I was like itty bitty. But I cannot remember, so we're just going to treat it as if I haven't read it. So yeah, The Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. Alright, and then this one, War and Peace. <laughs> I totally thought about trying to like read along with the Audible book, because I thought it might help me, but I could not find the exact translation that we have. But this book is insanely huge insanely huge like i mean the back has a lot of like extra stuff in it but like if we include the epilogue it has like 1300 something pages <laughs> so at some point in my life, I would like to read this. I would like to say I have read this. I would like to read it and understand it. But when and if that happens, I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> okay, next I have The Red Pyramid, which is the first of that series that I already talked about with Rick Riordan. And then I have Walk Two Moons, which is a book that I have heard a lot about from teachers and um, I had started this list of like 100 like children's book chapter books that everybody should read and I tried to get through all 100 and this was on it and I didn't get through all 100 so um, like I went through and was like buying them like crazy like I got this one for like a dollar but um haven't read it yet but I've heard that it is really good then I already mentioned The Maze Runner that I hadn't read it, um, so I would like to read The Maze Runner. I did enjoy this movie. I haven't seen the other ones, or I think I might have seen the other. Is, it, is there one or two more after it? And then I just didn't remember what happened in the previous ones, and my husband's like all into it, and I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. 
So maybe if I read the books. And then there's also The Death Cure, which is um, the third in the series. Sorry I'm not going in order of the series. I'm really anal and I don't want to mess up my bookshelves. So I'm just going in order of my shelves. Because I don't have time to put it all back like at the very end and like figure out where they're supposed to go. So sorry if I keep going back and forth to different series. Like, I, sorry. I guess I should have thought it through a little bit more. Me, who cares? All right, the next one is The Young Elites by Mary Lou. I have not read any of Mary Lou's things, um, books, but I have heard really good things about them. And this one has been on my shelf and I would like to read it. And next is Love and Thumps. I don't know. I haven't heard a whole lot about this. Um, it was another one on that like 100 list, I think. And um, this is the first in a series. So maybe if I like it, I will continue it. So the next stack is really big. So first we have The Witch of Blackbird Pond, another from that 100 books. Um, I th think I might have started this one and just didn't finish it. Um, this one is another like middle schoolish type book and a classic. So, um, what I want to read. Then we also have The Born Legacy, another in the, um, Born Identity series. And then The Golden Compass. I know I started this one and I don't know why I did not finish it. I think I was really close to finishing it. I don't know what happened. So, um, I don't know. Sorry about the noise in the background. My trash, the trash truck decided it was going to come, like, now. And it's, like, midday. It normally come at 6 in the morning and wake me up. So, I don't know. So, Golden Compass. No, that one's a good one. Dragon Rider. Another one that I started and did not finish. This is becoming quite the um, trend. I don't know why. Um, this one took me a little bit. I don't actually know if I will read through this one. I thought it was going to be good and it, and it didn't catch my attention but it didn't get very far so maybe I'll give it another go. Then The Eye of Minds which is the first in that The Rule of Thoughts. This is the first one. The Rule of Thoughts is the sequel in that book in this series. Sorry. Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. This was um, a really good one and was suggested to me when I taught in Hawaii and I just never got around to reading it. I, I did pick it up, but I just never got around to reading it. Um, so another classic that I should probably get around to reading. Uh, the Time Travelers, which is book one in a series as well. Another one of those middle school books. I think this one might have been on that list, not 100% sure. Um, I know I went through a phase where there was this really cool used bookstore when I lived in Hawaii and I would go there and like I know this one was a dollar and I would just pick up all these books and then I, a bunch of them I never got around to reading so you're going to see those. Next we have Marie Lou's War Cross. This one is on um, a TBR for I want to get it done this summer so this one hopefully I will be reading soon. I haven't had this one very long so yes and then we have Lost Hero, uh, Rick Riordan, and then um, The Thing About Jellyfish. One of my friends said it was a cute book. I just picked this one up on a, on a whim because it was cheap at a, at a thrift store. And I'm one of those suckers who sees a book that looks like I'd like it, I pick it up. So this is another one of those like middle school, upper elementary type books. Next um, on the... List is Bud Not Buddy, which is about um, this boy, and then he goes through during the Great Depression. Um, is it is a classic? It won the um, the John Newberry, so it won the Newberry Medal, and it also won um, the Coretta Scott King Award. Um, so, which is neat. So that's another one that was on that one hundred list. Then. House of Hades, which is from Rick Riordan. Then we have um, Graduation Day. I think this is in a series, but I'm not 100% sure. This is another one my husband has. Um, so I don't even know really what this is about. Um, the final test is, oh, it says, duh, 
So is the book three of the testing series. The final test is the deadliest. So this is book three. So this is the last in the trilogy. I'm sure my husband has the other one on the other ones on the shelf. But this one looks like it'd be an interesting read as well. Then the Scorch Trials, also from the Maze Runner. Another born book. <laughs> And then another Rick Riordan. Can we see a pattern? Sorry that I didn't like pull like the series out. I feel like I should have done that and maybe go back and redo. But you know what? Not gonna. <laughs> Not gonna. All right. Next we have um, the other two in the testing series. The testing and independence, independent study. So... He does have all three in that trilogy, so sorry about the light, guys. I don't know why it's glaring today. But, um, so that series, we do have all of them, which makes me happy because I don't like starting things and then not <laughs> having everything. Next, I have Mark's Woman, which is also on my To Read Soon TBR as well. And then Star Wars. I have actually read The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. The only one I haven't read is Revenge of the Sith. Sith? So, um, that one is on my list. This one just has all three books in one, and I need to get the other copy that looks just like this for the other, other books as well. Um, then I have, whew, The Imposters, which was a $5, um, book fair buy. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Another one that I feel like everybody has read and I have not read, Eat, Pray, Love. Don't know if I'll like it. Don't know if I'll get into it. But I feel like this is one everyone has read and it's been on my shelf for forever. And I haven't actually read it. The Watsons Go to Birmingham. That's another one that has that um, Crota Scott King Award. And it also won the Newbery Award. And it was another on that um, book list of 100 books. But Beauty... And the Penderwicks, both are on that list of 100 that haven't read yet. Can you tell I didn't get very far? Actually, I think I got like 40-something in, which I think is pretty good. But, yes, Black Beauty and the Penderwicks. And then we have um, the series, the um, Legend series by Marie Lou. And my husband does have all four, Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. So would like to read those as well. Can you tell he is a huge Marie Lou like fan, apparently. So, I don't know, does it count if they're not my books? I mean, I feel like we share everything and we read most of the same things. So, I'm counting them because I physically have them and I feel like I'm going to read them, so they're counting. Okay, next we have um, The Rose Society. Which also goes with The Young Elites um, by Marie Lu. Then I have The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Wave um, from Rick, Van Rick Yancey. Um, this, I don't know if there's any more in this series. I know that these two go together. This is one and this is two. Not sure if there's another one in this series though. I'll have to look at that. But both of those... Um, the Westing Game is another one that um, was on that 100 um, list. Another like middle school, upper elementary book. Ender's Game. And The Blind Side. So I think I tend to watch movies and I'm like, that probably is a really good book. And then I read the book. I think I should like research before the movie and be like, is this a book? Should I read the book first? <laughs> because, yeah. But, um... The Blind Side, I don't actually know if this is an ad book is adaptation of the movie or if the movie is adaptation of the book, so I'm not 100% sure. I think it's an adaptation of the book. Um, Jane Eyre, I saw this play in college and it was interesting. Um, this is, like, I guess the movie, like, cover of it. Looks like Heath Ledger. Not sure. Um, but... <laughs> I saw this play, I saw this movie, um, I think it would be an interesting read if I could get into it. Um, it is like small, small print, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that one. I don't know. And then Memoirs of a Geisha, Geisha, of a Geisha, um, this one was suggested to me by somebody I really trust with books and things. Um, I just haven't gotten around to 
to reading it. I bought it like as soon as she suggested it and just never read it. Not 100% sure why. I feel like this is one that um, a lot of people have read as well that I just haven't gotten around to reading yet. And then another classic Fahrenheit 451 um, would like to read this one. I do like reading classics. Um, I just don't read them that often. So I, I should be better about that as a teacher. So maybe I will get around to it. Last but not least, I am grabbing from my bedside TBR shelf where I put all the things I wanna read really, really soon. Um, this is not including any of the books that I put in my June TBR because I didn't wanna repeat. So um, the ones that are in my June TBR that I'm currently like in my bag ready to read are not in this list. So um, I have Witchy, which is a graphic novel, which will be the first graphic novel that I have ever really read all the way through. And this one came in the Owl Crate box this month. Then I have Love and War, which is the second in the um, Alex and Eliza series. And I already talked about um, how much I loved Alex and Eliza, so I'm excited about this one. The Knockout Queen, this one was my May book club book, and I made the mistake of not going and like looking into each book and I'm not sure this is going to be one that I can get into. I'm not super excited to read it but I'm going to try it and see um, if I can get into it, if I like it. Um, I have learned my lesson and from now on I will be like looking into each book um, more than just that little bitty synopsis that book, club, book of the month club gives. So that is one on my list but not super excited about it but I'll make it to it. And then Incendiary, this one came in the April Fairy Loot box, um, also came in the Owl Crate uh, May box. This one seems really, really interesting. It seems like a great read, and I'm excited about this one. And then lastly, we have The Last Flight, which was my June Book of the Month Club book. And this one is a thriller, and it sounds like a thriller. I am so excited for this one. Um, so excited. I don't know if anybody else struggles with trying to figure out what order you're going to read books in, but I struggle so much. And I got this one and like already have really good books on my TBR and like on my bedside table. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like when should I read this one? And then guys, I'm so dumb. Like I ordered two more books today and then I got three more from the library. So the struggle is real. I know it's stupid, but it is a struggle. So, but anyways, that is the end of my physical TBR, all the books that I have that I would like to read. And admittedly, there are some on the shelf that I skipped because they're my husband's and they don't look interesting at all and I'm not going to touch them. So, there are still other books on my shelves that I haven't read, but I'm not going to read them because I don't, they don't look interesting. So, so, yeah. So, if I can add correctly, which is completely possible that I didn't <laughs> but um, I have 55 physical books that I haven't read yet that I'm planning on reading there on my TBR so not too bad I mean like that it could have been worse um I need to up my reading I said I was gonna be so much better in June and I am not not I've been watching a lot of TV we moved, I got a new TV for downstairs, so I moved the big TV into my room, and now, like, I've gone through three series, complete Netflix series since I moved the TV. So, need to be better. Will be better, I promise. So, I don't know, tell me if you've read any of these. Let me know, should I skip them? Should I bump them up to the bedside table where all of my reads are that I want to read really really soon let me know in the comments below and hope you made it through this video with me have a great day mm -hmm.